Also remember that the roles can be switched. So if it says they see you, it could actually be how you see them. So just keep that in mind. Um, yeah. So if you want to try the decks out that I'm using, check out the description box below. I've already shuffled in. We'll take a look at the present time, how they see you, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. So, Scorpio, for the present time, coming up in June, it looks like we'll be, div we'll be, I'm sorry, excuse me, my tongue has gotten twisted. It looks like, coming up in June, you're going to be dealing with some devil type of energy. This could be you or the person you're dealing with or someone coming towards you. Now, just to explain this devil card, it's paired with the death card, okay? So we'll clarify both of them. Now, they're kind of similar. Well, they look similar because they're both dark cards. But anyway, just so that you're aware, the devil card is a card that's above the word present. You'll be deal dealing with some type of energy like this. Now, this devil card, no matter what your situation, just know that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, make sure you come to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial for you to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back. At any time, you choose to do so. So you may have some feelings now that you're not in control of your life. That's what this devil card is about. Sometimes when this happens, it's a result of your own actions, but more often as a byproduct of inaction taking no action at all. So make sure you take action whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control, even if it's merely a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small steps are important, very important. Now, this devil card is paired with a death card. The death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're creatures with free will. And such things, they're not written in stone. This card, it simply indicates transformation. It indicates change. It could be a time of deep transformation. It could be both internally and externally in your life. Situations, things, people that you've counted on or had gotten used to, they may no longer be available to you in quite the same way. Yeah, this, trans this transition, it can be difficult for some people, but the change is nearly always needed. So basically, just um, to give you an example of the death card, it's kind of like what the whole world went through. Deep transformation. You know, now we all have to wear these masks um, with this virus. We, we all went through some type of deep transformation. The world did. A lot of people changed a lot of people's lives. A lot of people lost loved ones. The virus is an example of, deep tr of, of the death card. The virus we just experienced, COVID-19, that's an example of the death card. It brought about deep transformation. So basically, for the present time, like I said, you, you're going to be dealing with some devil energy. Devil energy could be a troll, somebody that just wants to bother you for no reason at all, make your life hell. Devil energy. It's addictions, greed, envy, materialism, sexual lust, obsession. Um, somebody can't put down the bottle addictions. Uh, the death card, deep transformation is, is here or it's needed. Yeah, some type of really big change is needed or it's, it's in the mix. It's trying to happen. Uh, death card is letting go of an, of an old outdated attitude, could be. Death card is finality, conclusion. But 
let's take a look at the rest of the reading and see what we come up with so we can clarify these two cards better. So the person that you're dealing with, they see you as the Page of Wands and Will of Fortune. Now the Page of Wands, yeah, somebody could be, well, they actually see you as um, passionate to take action with the Page of Wands. Page of Wands, they're warm, ambitious, high achievers. It's about also about the energy of easy distraction. So it's needing to stay focused. Some things that you started some time ago, they could be starting to come to life, starting to come to fruition. There's also showing a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. It brings about a positive energy, but you have to supply the follow-through, which can be difficult because, like I said, this page of wands is about easy distraction. And this is how they see you. They see you as excited to continue to explore this connection but you could be going in circles sometimes yeah now the will of fortune is what the page of wands is paired with page i'm sorry the will of fortune it reminds us that this too shall pass whether it's good times or bad times it passes if all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world Keep your perspective as that too. Like everything else changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really out of our control. But even that's okay. Roll with any changes and think positive. So they see you as bringing good fortune. Yeah, you could be one. They see you as possibly wanting to reach out to them. Yeah, um, they see you with having a lot of passion for them. Yeah, you, they could also see you as having a hard time staying focused. Now, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a student, that's somebody younger than you. Uh, it could be immaturity. So, like I said, you got they see you having a lot of passion for them. You want to come towards them with messages of love and affection. You want to reach out to this person, but they also see you, you're in a, a cycle. Right now, you're, you're with a good, you, you offer good fortune with the will of fortune, but they know it's a, it's a turning point for you. It could change. This could change. That's how they see you. Uh, they could possibly see you're in a cycle. Well, right now, it's, it's, it's good, but they see you could be easily distracted. They might think you're a little bit immature, or you could just be younger than you, younger than them. Um, but they know they know this good fortune that you're you're trying to bring towards them. It could change. Yeah. And you're transforming. So let's move on over and take a look at how you see them. Now you see them like the nine of cups. And the Queen of Wands, I'm mean, sorry, Nine of Cups <laughs> and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, these are two cups. We like the cups in the tarot. They're good cards. Now, the Nine of Cups is beautiful. It's one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as the Wish Card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, dreaming about, is likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. So this is about happiness and good things to come. It could mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking me a yes or no type of question, this is the most positive, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. So you see them as wanting this connection to become, become more deep, better and sweeter. Yeah, you see them as uh, blessed and satisfied. Or you could see this connection as a blessing. Yeah, that's how you see them. Like I said, the roles can be switched. But since we're talking about how you see them, 
And you see them as blessed and satisfied. This is a wish card. Now, it's with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, it's about, um, it's showing a woman who will be helpful to you. It reminds you to bring love, compassion to work in all other areas of your life. And things are probably better in your working world. Or just your world, period, when you get this card. You're probably better than you're realizing. If this card, Queen of Cups, is a very positive outlook about a relationship. Very positive. Um, so you see them wanting to nurture this connection. That's what the Queen of Cups does. Uh, Queen of Cups is very healing and supportive. And like I said, you see them as blessed. This is a wish. You see them as thinking you're a wish. Something that they wish for. That's how you see them. Um, like I said, the Nine of Cups is a wish card. Feeling blessed and satisfied. And you also see them as uh, very healing, nurturing, supportive. Bringing compassion to this connection. That's how you see them. Now, let's take a look at why it's happening. we got the Strength card and the Four of Swords. The Strength card is showing that it could be a time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone, even if you're in a relationship and you got got 100 kids. But don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear either. Because the outward things, they'll be going okay, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability to do that, but you got the responsibility. So conquer any fears. Control, control any impulses and never lose patience with what you're trying to do. So, the strength card, why it's happening. There's acceptance, there's patience, there's compassion, and um, it's a strong relationship or it has the potential to be strong. Because there's unconditional love with the strength card. Yeah. Could be self-love. The other reason why it's happening is the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is showing a need for a break. As you can see, this man, he's on his back. He's got these swords surrounding him. He put those swords there to make sure no one comes near him. And he also put a, he lit a candle. I don't know if you can see, see, but there's a shoe right below his foot. There's a candle in there and it's lit. Because he has no plans of getting up anytime soon. So when it gets dark, he'll have a little light there. But he's not getting up. So, that's the Four of Swords. It's showing a need for a break. Could be from normal life. This could mean that you or someone in your life, they may withdraw for a time. This withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It can also mean um, just time away, maybe in the hospital, uh, even more rarely time in jail. That means you're coming back. You're gone, but you're coming back. Those are examples. Now, it's a sign also to give people their space. You're in need of some space and some time for yourself, maybe, and others could be pushing. Too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, make sure you take them at their take them at their word. Because if you push in this circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. So basically, this is the other reason why it's happening. Someone feels like they need to withdraw. You might feel ghosted, but somebody really needs a break. Some rest after struggle. So let's re recap this reading. We'll recap it because it's kind of all over the place, I know. But at least you know what the cards mean, right? So let's get the complete picture for now. So basically, the present time, we got devil energy here. Some addictions. Yep. It's in this reading. Coming up in June, you'll be dealing with that you or your person. Now, it's with the death card, so there's a need for deep transformation. Deep, deep transformation. Could be internally and externally. 
Now, your person, they see you as wanting to reach out with this page of, page of wands. But they could see you probably doing it maybe in an immature way. Um, they know that you're in cycles where you could be changing yourself. Or you could just be going through change. But they see you as good fortune, though. Yeah, you bring them good fortune. And um, they see you having a lot of passion for them with the Page of Wands. Got a lot of passion. You could be younger than this person. Now, you see them as blessed and satisfied with the Nine of Cups. And you see them as supportive, healing, nurturing. Or this is what they, they want want a queen of cups who's very healing and nurturing and I say this because we got addictions here and usually that's what's required yeah sometimes but that's how you see them now we got the strength card strong embracing uh, being supportive uh, acceptance patience so um, somebody needs a break here with the Four of Swords. So these addictions, I'm picking up that, I'm picking up it's your person, Scorpio, with the addictions. And um, they need to go through the death process. They need to go through deep transformation very deep internally and externally yeah but uh, you see them needing someone like the queen of cups needing um some healing and you see them needing some support and um they see you as um bringing them good fortune and that you got a lot of passion now, why it's happening is because um, this connection, it has the potential to be strong. Yeah, with the strength card here. Um, but it needs patience. Strength, strength card is about patience. It needs acceptance and a lot of compassion. But it has potential to be like that lion just roaring through the mountains. It has the potential to be really mutually supportive, beneficial. So it's got it's got great potential, but it needs the Queen of Cups. It needs that healing and supportive energy. Yeah, but for right now, it looks like you could need a break, Scorpio, from your person. Because this devil energy probably drains you. Yeah, you need rest after some type of struggle with your person. And it'll bring about renewed energy, but you need this break. Yeah. Um, you need a break from your person. Yeah, because they, they looks like they, they need to go through a death process. And they may not even know it. A lot of times that's what you have to go through the death process before you can free yourself from things that are causing problems so you need a break this connection has the potential to be really strong mutually supportive you see them they need you they need that healing nurturing energy that you you have to offer and they know that you you bring them good fortune with the will of fortune and you got passion for them. But they're in, a, they're in a struggle right now. Or they will be feeling that way coming up in June, maybe towards the end of June. Because uh, the addictions, sometimes they can get to the be they can get the best of you. So they need they, they just need to go through a process of, of the death card. And right now, you need a, it looks like you need a break from this situation or the person. But the good thing is that this, the uh, strength card is big. Yeah, this connection has a lot of potential to be really strong. 
Because there could be unconditional love here with the strength card and acceptance. Yeah, could be could be a really good connection, but we got this devil energy and addictions that are just poking at, at you probably every day or every other day. So you just you feel like the four of swords. You need to you need a break from this person with the with the addictions. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope this resonates with someone. Uh, someone needs to hear. Not every Scorpio is experiencing someone with addictions, but I, um, the reading is out there. I'm going to upload it. Um, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? What will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Scorpio, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys are safe and well. And that you're taking care of yourself during these crazy virus days that we're having so please come back and join me for the next scorpio reading it will be in about another four or five days i hope that june is a beautiful month for you and i hope that you have a great day hope that june is a beautiful month for you so i can never say it enough thank you so much for watching and once again have a great day and i hope to see you at the next reading